One of the most beautiful stories of love that we can read in the Bible comes from a very unlikely place. A woman who was recently uh, widowed and a guy who has been uh, in search for a long time for a woman that he could love and provide for. And of course, we know that this story of Ruth and Boaz is one of the most amazing accounts in the Bible. Now, the event occurred during the period of the Judges, about a century before David became king of Israel. Set in the midst of great hardship and tragic loss, the story focuses on loyalty and faithfulness that starkly contrasts the pagan Moabite culture from which Ruth originated. Now, the story is also a clear example of God's faithfulness in bringing about His plan of redemption using unexpected partners in amazing ways and during a time of frequent unfaithfulness of God's people. The book of Ruth begins with an Israelite family, Elimelech, Naomi, his wife, and their two sons, Mahlon and Chilion, living in Moab. Originally from Bethlehem of Judah, the family left the land of its inheritance because of a famine. But tragedy soon struck. Elimelech died. Both of Naomi's sons married Moabite women, and within 10 years, the sons also died, leaving Naomi and her daughters-in-law outside the kin group of her husband. It is hard for us as modern uh, people to comprehend the hopeless situation in which the three women found themselves. They lacked the intimacy of a family, which is tragic in a situation, in any time and place, but were outside the patriarchal clan, cut off from the protection and provision of the family. But their losses were devastating in every way. They were a non-family and with no means of providing for themselves. Options for such marginalized women were few and unpleasant. Completely dependent on the generosity of others, they faced starvation and worse. And so Naomi is a good mother-in-law. She said to her daughters-in-law, go home to your families. But Ruth made that decision that she is going to be with her mother-in-law. She said, your people will be my people and your God will be my God. And of course, we know that the rest is history because eventually Ruth found a man by the name of Obed who owns a field in which she worked. And that's where their love story begins. And of course, we know that Ruth and Obed were the ancestors of Jesse, who eventually became the father of King David. So you see, if you look at your situation now, you might say, I'm an imperfect person and I don't know if I can do something about life or to be a contributing member to society in general. But who knows? You might be the next Ruth who will meet the next Obed. And your son or grandson will be the one to make a change or contribute greatly to society. So don't give up and don't give out on the possibility of where God leads you because who knows, your love story might be the story that we will read on next. And indeed, communicating the love of God through words and music that will encourage, inspire, and uplift. This is Manga Radio, heard live on DXKZ 91.5 Zamboanga and DXYP 102.7 in Metro Davao and also on the TuneIn app and website. Hello friends, good morning. This is... Mango Mango Mornings Mornings. Here on Mango Mango Radio Radio. We continue to Communicate communicate the the love of God God. My name is Bernie Together with Aya And Pastor JB And once again We are here For this beautiful Thursday morning Mm. Sunny morning Mm. (laughs) But uh, (laughs) Sunny sunny Well It's a beautiful day For us to praise And thank the Lord Because You know Wala nagulan gabi And talingsik lang gamay But uh who knows? Surprise, surprise. Everyone's safe. Praise Everyone's God. Safe. Because here's the thing, no? Um, airline prices, tickets will rise soon. <laughs> so it's not going down. It's going up. So dilita ulan nun, okay? Pero masurprise na lang ta sa mga panghitabo. Ay mong kakurat ha, especially if namin mga plano nga magsuroy-suroy, okay? With your family and loved ones na namin mga extra surcharges <laughs> nga expect. But syempre, 
again, no, planning. Okay, that's part and parcel of uh, what we want to do. Pero, that planning can be antala, okay, if something else happens. Hmm. Mm. But today, syempre, our day is going to be filled with amazing uh, sharings. And also, we have a guest who will also share with us later, mm-hmm. in just a bit, by the way, a devotional in relation to our topic for this morning. No? Right. And um, hopefully, you can learn something, especially the wives. Because how does... Wives, okay. How do wives, okay, love their husbands, being the bride? Mm. Good morning to Good all of morning. our listeners and viewers, and uh, those of you joining us through our YouTube channel. Once again, that's Mango Radio Philippines. We are on episode 25 entitled Already? "Bride: How Does a Wife Love Her Husband?" Mm-hmm. So you can chat with us, send us your messages through our YouTube channel. Once again, that's Mango Radio Philippines. Like and subscribe for more content, mm-hmm. and it would be our joy to. Communicate with you, interact with you, and uh, if nasa chat kayo, you might get a chance to win your very own Mega Radio bag. It's right there. Mm. Yes. Nakasabit. Mm-hmm. Nakasabit sa likod di Pastor JB. Ayo. And also, hello to our radio listeners. Maayong buntag, magandang umaga, buenas dias. Uh, we hope that you're safe. If you're already traveling, papunta sa inyong workplace or to school. And uh, for our listeners at home or everywhere you are, if you would like to interact with us, our text lines are now open. For Smart, 09-98490-5382. And for Globe, 0915-186-7269 for Globe once again. Send your name. Also include your name and your location para walang... Alien. <laughs> Yon. Ma-identify natin lahat. And of course, we would also like to identify our ministry partners mm-hmm. supporting us lovingly para makontinue ang ministry ng Mago Radio. One of them is Mass Pro Davao. And they are inviting car owners for car tinting and nano ceramic coating at Mass Pro Davao. They are located at Sobricari Street, Obrero Davao City. They offer coating that will give your car extra gloss, extra shine, and make it scratch resistant. They also offer quality tint which rejects heat and blocks the sun's glare without compromising your vision. It also provides you added security by making your windows and windshields shatterproof. So, kung quality tint and superb coating ang hanap mo, imas pro mo na yan. For more information, call them at 0908-524-7777 or message them on their Facebook page, Mask Pro Davao. Hello to Sir Ryan Paco and all the staff the ladies na si Aya lang ang nakamemorize. <laughs> Hello and good morning to Ma'am Karen, Dimple, Jen, and Riza. Mm. Blessed Mango morning to you ladies. Mayo buntag sa inyo hang tanan. Oy, nga pala oh, si Sir Marvan. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning to Sir Marvan. And uh, in light of that, to connect that with another ministry partner, we are so thankful to Marvan Requilo AC Services. Mm-hmm. So for your air conditioning requirements, Marvan Requilo Kilo Air Conditioning offers you supply and installation of brand new AC units, aircon installation, aircon cleaning, and aircon repair. They mm-hmm. cater to all works, all types of AC units with different brands. And uh, for February, they have a promo. Uh, this is their five-year anniversary. Wow. wow! So those who would like to take part in that, meron kayong free rice cooker when you purchase brand new AC units units split type and floor standing Mm -hmm. we are or they are a service center of gree couple tcl and higher bands so their office if you would like to visit them personally is at door 2 bsc building mahayag buhangin contact Mm -hmm. them at zero Nine one zero six zero six four seven two zero and uh zero nine one zero six zero six four six seven one or two three five one four four five for Davao um Area, area, mm-hmm. or possible customers who would like to avail of their promo. Mm-hmm. Anyway, speaking about promos and to, uh, anyway, 
nagpapatuloy pa rin ang hindwaan. Hindwaan ba? Hindwaan. <laughs> Grabe. Ating hindwaan. Lalim. <laughs> Pwede ano lang, medyo misunderstanding. Banga yan. Uh. Okay. Between China and Philippines. Okay. Lalo na sa area na pinag-aagawan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ay nako. So, sometimes, no? <laughs> This really happens. And even though we are friends, but definitely, nagana yung mga, Ako'y kusgan ni mo. Ako dapat bang magbuhot? Pina. Oh, Yo, ano yung tingog? Yan talaga ang bosses. Oh, <laughs> yung kabila, <laughs> ano yung bosses nung kabila? Ah, ganito po kasi yan. <laughs> Maliit. <laughs> Pero syempre, meron tayong mga kaibigan. Ayun, mm-hmm. at sa hindi tayo pababayaan. Mm-hmm. Yun yun. So, nako, thank you sa mga kaibigan natin, no? Yes. And um, syempre, we don't want fight fight kay because lahi ang mag-fight fight good kay kung na ganin mag-fight fight Lagi na yung mga angin, okay? O mga angol. Okay, so, mga civilian niya madamay. Victims. What's yeah. angin? Ma-affectahan. Oh, ma-affect. Maangol is Ma- ma-injure. Ma-injure. <laughs> maangin <laughs> and maangol. Oh, yun. So, okay. additional beside word. Okay. <laughs> so, yun. So, let's pray also for the kaning peaceful uh, mm-hmm. resolution to these kinds of problems. And of course, That's on a bigger scale but on a smaller scale. Napo na dira ka ng mga mag-asawa po sa balay no. Napo na yung mga manglupa pero <laughs> plato if ever. May flying um, object. Flying object so UFO. <laughs> so kani siya it's important that we have to express love. Mm. Okay? And that's what we're going to talk about later on. But in mm-hmm. the meantime, we'll pause for a song first, the first one for this program, a reminder for us that we are able to love. Because he loved us first. Hey, that's Don Moen, and you're still listening to Mago Morning here on Mago Radio. We continue to communicate, communicate the, the love, love of God. God. <laughs> right he set you free so you could see how much he loves you. Just take a look. It's in his book How much he loves you His word reveals All that he feels He spelled it out Never a doubt He loves you Just because he loves you He loves you Oh, He loves you Just because He loves you Just because He loves you There's nothing you can do To make Him love you more There's nothing you can do To make Him love you less He loves you Because he loves you, just because he loves you. Once we were lost, needing the cross, needing a savior. He came to earth, a humble. life was proved oh. He was God's son sent for each one He loves you just because He loves you just because He loves you Oh He loves you just because He loves you
That song was brought to you by Everflex, a one-stop shop for all your electrical needs. They are located at Ramon Magsaysay Avenue, Corner Clan, Davao City. You may call them at 227-2663. Everflex. Your story. My story. The story of Christ on Mango Mornings. Hello friends and welcome back to Mango Mornings <laughs> Right here on Mango Radio We are communicating The, the love, love of God. God With me on this beautiful Thursday <laughs> morning Are my fellow hosts Bernie Pastor JV And yours truly Aya And today friends we are joined by our Devo sharer Jaika Lirazan of CLC Davao mm. Jaika it's so wonderful to see you once again Hello Ati Aya, good morning and the rest of the DJ mm. Mm. Good morning I think morning. we have a okay, challenge Okay, sige daw uh, Move closer to the mic nilang Jai Yon okay. Yon Sorry. Yon Hello, good all morning right. to all Mango listeners and to Adi Aya, Pastor DJ and DJ Brainy. Good oh. morning. Mm, okay. Yeah, so today, uh, Jaika, by the way, friends, uh, just a quick uh, trivia about Jaika. You might have heard her voice dahil we've played a few of her message spots. Mm-hmm. So what I appreciate about God's gifting in you is you have that calm manner of speaking. So for today, as we begin our day, we invite you all to slow down first and let's talk with God. Ano yung mensahe ni Lord for us today based on your Devo? Okay, um, for this morning, I just want to read the Bible. This is one of my devotional. This is the story of Hannah. I know you are familiar with Hannah. Um, Hannah's prayer for a son. So I'll just read it from the book of 1 Samuel verse, uh, verse 9. Once after a sacrificial meal at Shallow, Hannah got up and went to pray. Eli the priest was sitting at his customary place beside the entrance of the tabernacle. Hannah was in deep anguish, crying bitterly as she prayed to the Lord. And she made this vow, O Lord of heaven armies, if you will look upon my sorrow and answer my prayer, and give me a son, I will give him back to you. He will be yours for his entire lifetime. And as a sign that he has been dedicated to the Lord, his hair will never be cut. As as she was praying to the Lord, Eli watched her, seeing her lips moving, but hearing no sound. He thought she had been drinking. Must you come here to drink, uh, to drunk? He demanded. Throw away your wine. Oh, no, sir, she replied. I haven't been drinking wine or anything stronger, but I'm very discouraged, and I was pouring out my heart to the Lord. Don't think I'm a weak woman, for I have been praying out of great anguish and sorrow. In that case, Eli said, Go in peace. May God of Israel grant the request you have asked for him. Oh, thank you, sir, she exclaimed. Then she went back and began to eat again, and she was no longer sad. So, um, in this Bible story, it reminded me of three things. First, I asked myself, how is my prayer life? Mm -hmm. Because I have a script. (laughs) (laughs) I believe believe there are two types of people um, when it comes to one thing I think. First, Mm -hmm. a person who works so hard and Mm -hmm. believes in their strength. Mm-mm. Second, a person who prays earnestly and cling on to God's word. I say it because I've experienced it. Oh. Um, there was one moment before I cut off my relationship with my Christian friends and I quit ministry to focus on my career. Mm. <laughs> and then, thinking I could make it without God. But, however, God corrected my heart and He killed my pride. Whoa. It was painful. Mm. <laughs> God put me in... Uh, in a situation where I'm in deep anguish like Hannah. Mm-mm. And the only way I have is to go near him and pray. Right. So the point here is that how is your prayer life? It should be a lifestyle. Mm. Not uh, like 
if you are in the deep anguish, dun ka lang magpunta kay Lord. Oo yes. nga, ano. <laughs> Second is, what is your motive? Like Hannah, di ba, sabi niya, I will give him back to you. So, yes, we prayed and um, we have a prayer that until now, God made us wait. Mm-hmm. But before we rant, bakit Lord, bakit wala pa? Um, let's check our motive. Um, will your desire go- make God glorify? Mm-hmm. Let us be mindful that in everything we do, should please Him. Amen. Yan dapat ang ating prayer. And yan din dapat ang ating repent. Because as human as we are, as human as we are, not all the time na we glorify the Lord's ating thoughts, action, and the way we speak out. That's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the third is companion in faith. Mm-hmm. Um, God did not intend for us to be alone in the waiting season. Wow. However, the waiting season made us self-pity. <laughs> like, Why? sometimes, my Lord? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, some people tend to isolate themselves. I'm guilty of this because uh, I have this kind of attitude na introverted. Uh-oh. And I don't want to talk about it with other people, but God designed Christianity to be with each other side. Mm-hmm. It is in Ecclesiastes 4 verse 9. Two are better than one. So in this story, as we, uh, diba, Ellie comforted Hannah and then mm-hmm. Hannah, hindi na siya sad. So mm-hmm. that's my devotional. Mm, wow. So to be comforted by fellow believers yes. and also to check our hearts na kumo sa ating prayer life. So, yes. how is your prayer life today? Uh, okay, my prayer life is like I depended on God. Wow. And the season. Mm-mm. Yes. That's really important, no? And I like what she said. Na sometimes in the waiting period we feel pity sa ato ang yeah. kaugalingon, maluoy ta sa atong sarili ba? Because we are not getting what we want according to the timeline that we have set. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we get impatient. Yeah. Eh, Pangayon na to ni sa Gino and we want it so bad mm-hmm. pero wala niya gihatag sa. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I said sa, kay, of course we know that God has His own perfect yes. timing but sometimes because of our impatience right. and being kanabitong uh, spoiled nga mga anak sa Gino yes. o usahay. <laughs> Entitled. <laughs> Entitled. No, I want this right now Lord kay naibog ko sa uban and that is a very common attitude amongst mm-hmm. the children of God just like the Israelites before they wanted the king nga na ay gisat ang ginoo para sa ilaha mm-hmm. unta pero ah, ginahan namin oh, karon na Lord kay gusto namin mapareha sa other nations yes. that's no. exactly the words mm-hmm. no, gusto namin mapareha sa other, other nations. nations so when we start comparing ourselves with others dira na mag start ang ato ang ano jud uh, impatience yes. and self pity is just one of the products of that mm-hmm. um, how did you deal with that situation in your life bajay na niabot ka ato nga time and then naluoy kasi mo sarili nga unsa man oy kana mm-hmm. may pasila <laughs> unsa man mo hang ano response ato um, sa Ginoo ano um, there are things na hindi mo pa siya na achieve but mm. you are grateful Okay. Lang din, being grateful and then I thank the Lord na even though hindi pa siya ko narate yeah. but I am contented because I know the wow. Lord will give it to me later on Amen mm. so gratitude yes. and trust lang yun sa ginoo yes, exactly. God will fulfill His promise yes. Amen <laughs> wonderful and that's encouragement sa ating mga mm-hmm. kapatiran this morning no? not only mm-hmm. to the young people who are praying for something a very specific thing it could be mm-hmm. a job promotion right, no? right. or a lifetime partner mm-hmm. or anything that you're asking uh, the Lord for trust and Amen. then uh, trust in his perfect timing that is and being grateful for what you currently have Amen. right now that's right there's a story that i've uh, seen before because they made it into a movie and this talks about a pastor in south africa mm. and it, it, the title is faith like potatoes mm. now when you grow potatoes Mongol, you don't exactly know when they're going to you know come out or ripen Mm-mm. and since it's below the surface mm. because potatoes are you know Tubers. Crops. So they're crops below the ground. Mm-hmm. So you don't know what will happen. No? So ang ikaw lang is uh, as a farmer, you have to just wait. And sometimes the waiting period, that's where you know your patience is uh, tested. Yes. And uh, sometimes, kita mo ng sticker sa likod sa kenan, Lord, grant me patience and I want it now. <laughs> mm. So like in your case, Jai, Kanyang, was there ever a time wherein you demanded na from God, Lord, Lord, please, please. Kaya murag na ka nga, Lord, 
kanang Lord naman nga naman dugay may kay mo po kaya po 5 years to mo kaya po na itabu why 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 so did, did you demand from God? Um, there was a moment but <laughs> again God reminded me to wait mm. ano lang, and trust Him because um, I don't have other choice but to rely on Him mm. yeah. that's a good mindset mm-hmm. and syempre no Um, as children of God, no, we know that God has a reason, plan, and purpose for everything that happens in our lives. Again, katong gisulti di Pastor JB ganina, no, nga timeline, okay, God's timeline is different from ours. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, um, the thing that we desire most immediately is not actually what God has in store or planned for us mm. because He has something better. Mm. Mm. Amen. And uh, kana mga something better na, na that is, of course, something na at the onset, maana tayong, mahimot tayong bitter. Mm. Okay, because Lord, ay, wama na, nakuha. Mm. Pero di ito, later, mabalaan ni mo na nasya'y kaning wisdom. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, i-relate na ako gamay sa ako, no? I have to wait like nine years for something to get something that I wanted. Okay, nine years and it became very, very sweet. Diba? So, ikaw, do you agree that when you yes. got what you prayed for, <laughs> it was sweet? Yes, Lord, exactly. Ka, Lord, ikaw na Jude. So, makaanak ka nga, Lord, thank you for having me wait. So, was it that kind of feeling that you had? Yes, because I never regret din naman na sa mga decision ko before. Mm. And happy what I have right now. Mm. Amen. Mm. Amen. It's a beautiful thing. Anyway, to our listeners, if you're ever at that situation wherein you are going to ask for the Lord for something and you don't get the answers to your prayers, just wait. Okay? Mm-hmm. And uh, di ba naman si Lord nga, yes, no, or just wait because I have something better in store for you. Amen. Yes. Jai, Amen. thank you so much for joining us this morning. And um, what's next for you? You know, are you involved in some kind of ministry right now in church? Yes. And you want to invite them if ever? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm from CLC, Christian Life Center, uh-huh. and I'm from under MIMA, Bride Network. So, if you have, uh, if Tagadavo ka or Dilika Tagadavo and then wala pa kay church, you can connect to us. Wow. Um, we are located at CAP Auditorium every oh. Sunday. We have three services, uh, eight, Uh, 10 p- 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Oh. Wow. wow, nice one! Right, so cool. thank you so much to our guest for today. Yeah, and, and maybe mm-hmm. shout outs. Shout you'd outs. like to greet your family, <laughs> friends, <laughs> church mates, okay. work mates. Okay, just uh, say hello to all CLC years and mm. to my family in Samal. All Ooh. right, hello Lisa. to your family. Buntag. Hello to Lirazan family. <laughs> 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 Hello to Tito Ega of Samal. <laughs> <laughs> mati, <laughs> mati na siyang ngayon. <laughs> mati na pala, okay. Anyway, we'll be right back. And then, uh, when we come back, we're gonna have some more in store for you. Anyway, this is... Mango Mornings. Mornings! And we are... Communicating, communicating the Love of God. God. We'll be right back. Stop from proving yourself to everybody. You are great. You are wonderful. Your mistakes are not made to put your worth down, but they are created to help you be where God wants you to be. And hey, you are loved. Oh, so deeply. Even if there's no approval from those people, your whole life will be wasted if your purpose is just to prove your worth. It has already been proven 2,000 years ago. The job is done. All done by Jesus Christ all paid just so you can enjoy the worth of being his precious child a thought to ponder from mango radio communicating the love of god Hi, I am Don Don Landeta, a facilities manager of a telecommunications company based in Davao City. I am in my mid-50s. I easily get tired at work and at home doing family tasks. One time, my wife told me to try EXL Makabuhay Plus. Since then, whenever I get ill, sick, or stressed, or tired, I take two capsules of EXL Makabuhay Plus. And honestly, I got relieved. I recommend EXL Makabuhay Plus. It's time to invest for your health now. Ang EXL Makabuhay Plus, mapalit sa mga butika sa inyong lugar. And Jesus said, I do not condemn you either. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. John 8, 11 
Ang mabuting balita ay hatid sa inyo ng MX3. Mag-MX3 araw-araw para M-Extraordinary. For your air conditioning requirements, Marvan Rikilio Air Conditioning offers you supply and install brand new AC units, aircon installation, aircon cleaning, and aircon repair. We cater all works and all types of AC units with different brands. We accept credit card, debit card, and GCash payments. For more inquiries, visit our store at Door 2 BSC Building, Mahayag Buhangin, Davao City or contact 235-1445 for landline or 0910-60-64720 or 0910-60-64671 and look for Sir Marvan or Ma'am Brisa. Marvan Riquilio Air Conditioning Systems Repair Services, your cooling provider. God's mercies are new every morning. Friends, good morning. You are still tuned in to Mango, Mango Mornings here on Mango, Mango Radio. Radio. And we are communicating, communicating the, the love, love of God. God. It's already 7.33 mm-hmm. in the morning. Oh. By the way, we say hi to our afternoon listeners also, listening yes. to our replay, yes. which will be later, 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Don't forget mm-hmm. about that. And if you missed today's episode, of course, you can always find and replay our live stream on YouTube. Okay. Once it is uploaded sa ating uh, yes, account. Once mo. available na, ha? Yeah, Ay mo, katingahin lang kung automatic o gawa, ha? Mm-hmm. Actually, my mom is uh, asking always, why is it not available today's episode? And sabi oh, ko, yeah, yeah. ini-edit pa yan, ma. Oh, oh. oh, by the way, to those asking about yesterday's episode, just a quick FYI, mm-hmm. uh, we had a technical difficulty. So, we were, out, yeah, we were patching it up mm-hmm. para isang buong episode. So, uh, just wait, check out our YouTube channel. Once again, that's Mega Radio Philippines and hopefully we will have it uploaded mm. today. That is right. Mm. Hello to Adeline. Maayong buntag What? and uh, she's wondering oh. if we are still using our text line. Yes. Definitely because uh, your message reached us uh, safe and sound yeah. with glitters. Saan dyan ang glitter? Good morning po. Sabi niya, palagi kaming nakikinig sa inyong program pero still using pa ba this number? Yeah. Yes. Listening to the Word of God is the most important in life. Amen. Amen. That's from Adeline. Very beautiful name. And uh, yeah, hello to our YouTube viewers yes. right now. First honor today is Ana Tabukan. Good morning. No, uh, no one of Tronos, the uh, <laughs> Granny Christie. <da. laughs> Pero sumunod sa kanya, si Granny Christie. Mm. Sabi niya, praise God for another wonderful new day. Have a blessed Thursday. Mm. Amen. Good morning, good morning. And uh, LV. Yes, Divina Gracia. Divina Gracia. Good morning daw to all. Oh. And June Lagumbay. Mm-hmm. Ayan, good morning po sa inyo. To God be the glory. God bless Mango Radio. Uy, si Pastor June. Good morning. Ayan, buntag. And it's nice to see your fresh faces and inspiring voices from Blue Lizard Barista Training Center. Mm-hmm. Oy, uh, March 12 and 19, there's gonna be an upcoming training. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's nice. And um, hopefully more and more people will get the chance to also, kwano, explore this um, uh, possibility of learning how to make your own cup of very wonderful and delicious coffee. So very true. Mm. Very, very true. Amen. <laughs> With emphasis and exclamation marks. We got your point, Aya. Okay. <laughs> anyway, sige na mi, introduce it to sa atong guest because we're already in the aspect of food. Mm. And, uh, well... Um, it's so nice that uh, our guests are coming from uh, varied backgrounds and also from uh, varied nationalities. Yes. So we we'll have a we have a special guest today, Pastor JB. Please introduce our guest. Yes, uh, we are honored to have uh, Sir Heinz Agley of uh, Pizza Stop. I know you can see their shops uh, everywhere in Davao yeah. City, and they are really making a name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's the culinary director of Pizza Stop uh, branches here in Davao City and uh, all over the Philippines, mm-hmm. I should say. Mm, <laughs> well, let's welcome uh, Sir Heinz uh, Egli, if I pronounce it correctly. Yes, that's right. Good morning, Good morning. and Good welcome morning, to Mango everyone. Morning, sir. Guten Tag. Good morning, Good Tag. <laughs> 
Please tell us more about uh, your business. How did it all start and uh, what mm. pushed you to start the business? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, initially, I, I have worked in Hong Kong for the last 40 years and uh, my background, I'm mm. a chef and uh, uh, hotel manager. Mm. And uh, now I came to age and I started to think about what to do. So I came mm. with my Filipina wife to ah. Davao. Oh. retirement mm-hmm. and since I feel still too young to do nothing mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> my wife and me we decided to open a few restaurants mm-hmm. or open one and open more mm-hmm. uh, unfortunately time was not the right time we came here exactly three years ago almost by the date uh, in fact I came in with the last flight from Singapore oh. ah. and by Before then the lockdown, uh, eh? by then our oh. our plans have already started our investment has started mm. unfortunately uh, we know what's happened then yeah. uh, yes. <laughs> so oh the last three years uh, were not as planned mm-hmm. nevertheless we are here now and we operating a few uh, pizza restaurants and uh, yeah that's yeah. beautiful um, your wife is a Filipina from that's Davao City well no not really not oh. really actually we, we we settled down here once we were in holiday mm-hmm. uh, on holidays when one of the resorts on Samal mm-hmm. Island mm. and we liked it here and uh, over the last 10 years so every few months I came down from Hong Kong mm. and uh, it oh, was because it there's direct flight huh? we had we had mm-hmm. wonderful flights uh, before leaving Thursday afternoon in Hong Kong and leaving Sunday evening here so oh. it was very easy to make a long weekend mm-hmm. convenient then. and uh, extremely convenient and oh. now it's the opposite it takes me almost a whole day to go back to Hong Kong oh my goodness just I'm because I'm wondering uh, since you said that you are a chef but uh, right now why pizza Uh, <coughs> yes, I, I, I am a chef, I, uh, a trained chef, and mm-hmm. uh, actually I made a pot washer career. I started as pot washer, then chef, and in the end I was general manager from a big hotel. Mm. And my heart was always in the kitchen. So mm. the oh, last the last few years nice. I, I went back to the kitchen from, uh, some people would call that a, a demotion. <laughs> uh, for me it was uh, more uh, to do that I can do again what I like to do because mm-hmm. once you're getting older uh, it's more important that you do something that you like to do. Mm-mm. And uh, so I went back to the kitchen as a teacher. Uh, I, 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 uh, I was teaching in a hotel school mm-hmm. and then somehow somebody asked me to work. Uh, an opportunity came up for a pizza chain in Hong Kong. Mm. And uh, I took that opportunity and I learned a lot uh, in that pizza chain in Hong Kong. We had about 20 restaurants oh. and uh, I started to have fun with pizza. Mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, I, I, thought why, I thought, why not uh, bringing pizza to uh, Davao? Mm-hmm. And uh, our concept was to, to make an authentic I oh. have to I have to highlight that an authentic yes. Italian pizza mm. yes. and uh, selling it to the to the uh, how to say that Mo- to the low end markets mm-hmm. so we are not we are our branches are not located in the shopping centers or in right. high end mm-hmm. center mm. uh, one is one our branches are uh, located in Sasa for example mm. right. and we try to give the people from Sasa and around there the opportunity to get a proper Italian pizza for a reasonable wow. price. Yeah, so that's true. so that, that was our totally initial agree. concept. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we are attacking really the the mid market to the the we are we attacking the workers at so the mm-hmm. the Filipino workers also get a, a chance to uh, eat a, a real pizza one time. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Beautiful. So I, I I remember ordering one time. I think that was the the malunggay. Oh, the malunggay. Okay, <laughs> yeah, because everybody loves malunggay, right? I like it so much. I like the flavors. I like that that everything blends well together, mm. and, and nothing. Uh, kumbaga in our term, nakakumay. Mm-hmm. Right, so so there are some flavors that can be too overpowering, and you don't want to eat it anymore. But when it comes to this particular flavor, this particular pizza that I ate from Pizza Stop, I said to myself, "Oh, I I want to keep ordering because it's healthy, and also uh, it's it's a wonderful experience 
on my taste buds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Well, uh, thank you for uh, mentioning that. And uh, you're right. Once you do a pizza, uh, I, just on, on the side, I, mm-hmm. I'm also teaching and I'm giving uh, pizza classes here in uh, in uh, Davao. And I always tell my students, once you do a pizza, forget about that overload stuff. Uh, right. C- uh, concentrate on two flavors that match together. Uh? Mm-hmm. Whatever, whatever you do, the two things, maximum three things, they have to match together. Uh? Mm-hmm. And yes. uh, if you think uh, you overload something, uh, well, I'd rather make five different pizza uh, than uh, putting 15 ingredients. Anybody can put 15 ingredients on a pizza. <laughs> but, uh, That's true. <laughs> but uh, to have two, two, uh, two ingredients, for example, the, the malungai, mm. it has mal- malungai on tomatoes, right? Yes. Mm. Uh, that's all what is, what, uh, what is on it. Uh, and uh, I'm glad you, you, you obviously you are the proof that I was right because just two <laughs> lit simple ingredients Mm-mm. which you can get anywhere here on the street, on the yes. market, uh, made somebody remember my pizza. Uh, so I'm, uh, I achieved my goal. Uh. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice it point that uh, you made because uh, like pizza was originally made and I, 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 if I'm not mistaken that the history is it came from uh, Naples in, in southern Italy and um, this is basically the food for the common people because you, all you need to do is have you already have your um, carbohydrates and then your proteins and then your vegetables all in one dish. Mm. And um, when this went to the U.S., and that was when uh, they made it into something that is very stylish and sassy, and they have uh, pizza parlors. Mm-hmm. And because of the ingredients, it became expensive. Mm-hmm. And uh, right now, no, uh, it's good that you are bringing it down, <laughs> and you know, making it more affordable. And also, you said real, authentic pizza. Right. And, right. Uh, as I've uh, talked with you earlier, that uh, because we were wondering because your name is Heinz Egli or Egli. 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 Yeah. Uh, so it's it sounds German and Italian, and we were mistaken because you're you're Swiss. <laughs> I'm, I'm Swiss. Oh. So uh, Switzerland is just next to Italy. Oh. Yes. We also have a lot of guest workers. Uh, mm. Or in the in uh, when I was young, we had a lot of Italians in Switzerland as mm. guest workers. Uh, we have plenty of Italian restaurants and. Uh, uh, I, for myself, I made the apprenticeship in the Italian part of Switzerland. As you know, we have uh, three different or four different cultures in Switzerland. Yes. One is the Italian part, Mm-mm. and I work there in the Italian part. Oh. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, so uh, yeah, pizza yeah. is is a, a very simple uh, simple thing. Uh, yeah. However, it it can be. Uh, uh, to make a pizza, you need about 20, 30, I don't know, forty steps. Yeah, and if you do each one perfect, mm-hmm. each one good, then you get a, a real pizza. If mm-hmm. you only do one or two a little bit, uh, you change a little bit or do some shortcomings, mm. you will not get oh. the pizza. Uh, so You're still doing the <coughs> yes, we the are handmade wow. pizza? All our pizzas are handmade. Our dough wow. is... Our dough is uh, uh, fermented 48 hours. Wow. So, wow. so our, our dough is, uh, you know, oh. the, the yeast eats the sugar uh, in, the, in the dough. Mm-hmm. Mm. And when you eat a, a commercial pizza, quite often you feel loaded and heavier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not happening in my pizza because mm-hmm. uh, after 48 hours, all the sugar is consumed already by mm. the yeast. By so the yeast. even my pizza is rather big. Uh, it, it still feels light uh. yeah. and another thing what we do we stretch every pizza by hand mm. in mm. fact we throw it up to the <laughs> air which That's is that that's so exciting. <laughs> well, uh, you have to come to my classes. <laughs> I teach there how to do that. Uh, uh. <laughs> and uh, it, it's not only a show. Uh, it, it also has a purpose uh, because mm. it really uh, makes the pizza big in an even uh, size. Mm. Even mm. when you throw that up, it becomes even very oh. nice and round. Yes. And uh, you will also notice, uh, rather than rolling it out with a rolling pin, the my the air in the dough will stay inside the air ah. uh, in the in the dough in the dough so, sorry uh, it will stay in the mm. dough and uh, when you use a rolling pin you're pushing the air out so um, uh, our pizza is really uh, very fluffy mm-hmm. and then I uh, we we bake it by extremely hot temperature by mm-hmm. by uh, 420 degrees mm. so to make a pizza takes only two minutes. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> and it will be cri- crispy and mm. inside it will be still fluffy because of our uh, hand Uh-oh. stretching. So. You're, you're wow. using like a, a wooden oven no, or no, gas? I, I, no, I'm using an electric, electric. oven, mm. which is a, a very special. It's uh, operated by hot air. Mm. It actually blows hot air. Mm. It blows uh, 420 degrees hot air from below and 340 degrees Celsius from the top. So mm. uh, that is uh, so special. Uh, It's so fascinating. Ah. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm uh, two hungry. questions. <laughs> What was the most um, heartwarming comment you received from yours? From your customers. From your customers. <laughs> It really stayed with you. Well, uh, one of uh, things which I'm very proud of, of course, is I have quite a few Italian. Uh, people here in oh. Davao who mm. come and eat my pizza. Actually, I have one uh, gentleman uh, who comes twice, or t- at least twice a week since so three years. Since three years, and uh, that uh, proves me that I'm on the right track mm. with my Italian uh, mm. recipe. Mm. Uh, mm. So uh, I'm qu- I'm quite happy about so that. So their presence, the yeah. presence of these yes. people, yes. the Italians yes. particularly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, one time I had a Filipina woman. And she came and she almost cried. and said, "Finally, I found the pizza without sugar, oh. because my husband is almost killing me because I bring back always pizza with sugar, <laughs> and now they must be happy I bring home a, a real pizza." Mm. <laughs> oh, that's that's really also one thing I appreciated with uh, Pizza Stop because of the flavors, mm. because it's healthy for me. Wow, well, healthy mm. is maybe yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If, if not, not on a, uh, the the standard uh, of yeah culinary yeah. Yes, arts, yes. right? But In a way, if you're looking for a uh, different uh, an alternative, you want to eat something that's healthy, like malunggay, for example, mm-hmm. and you're more of a veggie person. You I like also vegetables. do a, a, yeah. pizza, a vegan pizza without cheese. Yeah, yeah. I do that, yeah. yeah so yeah, that's so something that that one is rather healthy. That's mm, that's, that's healthy, the one, right? <laughs> so maybe one challenge that you encountered as you. Started this business, or you can as you continued also. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stuff, stuff. It's very difficult to keep stuff. Ah. It's extremely People. difficult. It's yeah, mm. extremely difficult. Mm. Now I'm lucky. I have a core of about six uh, guys, and uh, uh, one of them just uh, had his uh, anniversary, so his third year anniversary. Mm. Wow. Uh, Congratulations! So, uh, I'm I'm happy about that. I have a few other guys, the, some girls and some boys, and mm. uh, some of uh, they are two years with me, which makes me happy. Wow. But whenever we need to find a new one, it's rather difficult to keep yeah. them. Yeah. Mm. Uh, very difficult. Uh, the uh, transition. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Pizza definitely is a passion, and uh, looking at uh, how you share it, you know, you're very very passionate when it comes to pizza, and uh, the satisfaction, of course, is there. And aside from You know, you being satisfied as you make it, you're also looking at the people who eat your food mm. and correct. being satisfied. So, um, I, I'm just wondering, you know, if after you make the pizza and then you look at the p- the customers eat, do you watch them and you know when they take a bite and wow, you know, so, they yeah, close their so eyes and they, they smell the aroma <laughs> of the pizza? Do you do that? If they don't put the chili sauce all over it, then I'm <laughs> happy. <laughs> 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 well, that's a thing for Filipinos because we love we uh, spicy really stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and uh, uh, hot uh, spices in our food. Uh. But uh, being a culinary graduate myself, I I understand the discipline mm. and mm. all the process, uh, meticulous ones that it has to take in making food because it's art. Mm-hmm. You know? That's why it's called culinary arts. Uh, and I understand yeah. that uh, one of the disciplines that you maintain is the simplicity of uh, your product. Uh, just like the example um, mentioned earlier about two ingredients, this, uh, uh, two ingredients maintaining yes, it. Yes. Uh, what are the other principles that you apply in your craft nowadays? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, two things: freshness, cleanliness. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I, we only have the freshest product. Uh, there's nothing older than two days in our kitchen, mm. and our kitchen is needs to be spotless clean all right. the time. Yeah. Mm. I, I, in fact, I got a few times comments uh, from. Uh, From visitors that wow, you, I can see when I stand here in front of the counter that this uh, restaurant is uh, well managed because they can see that everything is clean and wow. tidy. So wow, that, that, of is, that is an important, important uh, aspect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that reflects also our personality as yeah. as, as 
persons, individual yes, persons, course, that the discipline course. that we apply in our work is coming from us, in, right. a, in us. And that's a challenge for our yeah. listeners as well. Oh, oh. Now, whatever we do, whatever your profession is, yes. you're a doctor, or dentist, mm. uh, regardless of the field, your personality is manifested in your yes. And you sh- you <laughs> should be you should be proud of what you're doing. And unfortunately, I see many things here around mm. me where people are not really proud of what they do. Uh, oh. uh, uh, but if you are proud, you ha- you need a certain pride. Uh, mm. uh, and uh, when you when I give a pizza to to uh, to one of the guests, I must already by then I must know that I made my best possible yes. uh, work, uh, mm. and uh, I I will I cannot give something which is uh, not up to my standard. Right. Right. Uh, right. Any any any, li- any little pizza, I must have given hundred mm. percent my yes. uh, my best talent in it. Yeah. Mm. Uh-huh. So wow. wow. And as they say, no, uh, cleanliness is next to godliness. Mm. Mm. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. So uh-huh. very nice to see that, uh, you know, you, especially if you're working and everything's clean, you like to work in that area. Oh, of course. Yes. And it's easier. Yes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's much easier. <laughs> <laughs> to find things. And also on the side of customers who come in, they can see that and yeah. they would also feel safe mm-hmm. that yes, oh this is a place that takes care oh, of yeah. their environment well yes. mm. i will be able to eat the rest good will be food. good too yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. So, uh, exactly wow. everything yeah. else follows uh, yes, yes of course <laughs> sir how many branches do you have as of the moment at the moment we have four mm. and we're going to open a new one in uh in tagum oh. wow. uh, so i think i have to ask my wife uh, <laughs> 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 uh, so uh I the in initially my idea was to have uh, every uh, eight eight to ten kilometers a pizza stop because mm-hmm. uh, the delivery guys they they deliver in a radius of four to five kilometers mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so if I have one in Sasa and the next I have down in in uh, Okdao mm-hmm. uh, that would be just about right and I will not take yeah. my own business away because nobody from Okdao will go up to Sasa to right. buy a, a right. pizza yeah. That's right. uh, so I was. I my plans was to have about 10 to 15 uh, pizza stops in town mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then obviously uh, go over to other cities mm. well unfortunately uh, things have turned out a little bit different mm. yes uh, who knows uh, maybe I find the right people one time that mm-hmm. I mm. can fulfill my my plans uh, or if business will improve that is still very much my plan to have more branches all over uh, the world uh, mm-hmm. initially over uh, over the Philippines, yeah. Mm. Right. Uh, now, in closing, um, is there someone that uh, you'd like to greet that uh, is in your heart right now? That uh <laughs> <laughs> I think they're all sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early <laughs> in the morning. Uh, no. Uh, what time do you open? Of, though? of course. Uh, I think uh, we, we open. Uh, well, in a few minutes at eight o'clock. Uh. Of course, I would like to greet all the, my customers. Uh, so uh, oh. and uh, my future customers. Uh, oh. uh, and yeah. your wife. Uh, I saw her already. <laughs> <laughs> I said already said hello to her. <laughs> How can people order and where yes. can they find yeah. you? Well, uh, you can order on the normal, the on the usual uh, delivery service. Mm-hmm. Mm. And uh, well, ordering pizza. You know, I have never ordered a pizza in my life. Mm. Uh, I will <laughs> never order, uh, never eat a pizza from a delivery service because a pizza needs to be fresh out right. of the oven. Yeah. So, so uh, they really have to visit uh, your may- shop. Maybe I shouldn't yeah. say that because 50% of my business is delivery service. Mm. <laughs> but uh, myself, I would never, never buy a pizza which is cold and uh, mm. pizza needs to get fresh out yes. of the oven and then mm. eaten. And... Uh, so you really have yeah. to come yeah. to the and store. Any, anybody who is interested in making pizza, yes. uh, I, I uh, to once to twice a month I am hosting pizza classes mm. where I teach the, uh, how to make pizza from A to Z, little every sc- uh, every little wow. thing mm. from the flour from the dough to the final product. Mm. I even advise uh, my my students. Uh, what kind of oven they need, what kind of oven they have, then mm. I will tell them how uh, mm-hmm. how they how they can make the best possible pizza in their home mm. oven. Yeah. So oh, uh, that's oh. interesting. I, I, usually, it's announced on our uh, Facebook website. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. The, the, uh, the time and uh, it's yeah. a three-hour course right. and. Mm. Uh, I uh, I have many guys who come to my classes and open their own pizza uh, wow. shops. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But uh, ah. it's not that easy to open. Uh, just to do a good pizza doesn't make you a good uh, 
business uh, entrepreneur. Man, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You're most welcome. Thank Heinz, you for having me. Uh, Heinz Egli. Yes. And uh, we continue to uh, pray for you and your business. Yes. And uh, also uh, more success and more branches. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. As for us, we are going to pause for a song first before we proceed with our um, Ask Mosi Pastor today. So to our guests who have already uh, graced us with their presence, thank you so much. Thank and you. And we'll pause for a song from Ashmont Hill. This is a reminder for us that the love of God is the one that lifts us. Hey, you're still listening to Mango, Mango Mornings Morning. here on Mango, Mango Radio. Radio. We continue to communicate, communicate the, the love of God. God. We'll be right back. Mo? Give your car the makeover it deserves with MaskPro. MaskPro's nano ceramic coating implies the cutting edge nano technology hailed from Japan. Experience for yourself why people are gushing over the extra gloss, extra shine, and scratch resistant surface achieved only through MaskPro's nano ceramic coating. Hit us up at 0908-524-7777 or drop us a message on our Facebook page, Mask Pro Davao. 
We're located at Sobrecari Street, Obrero, Davao City. Make it different with Mask Pro, the number one trusted nano ceramic coating. That song was brought to you by Light Talk for all your lighting needs. They are located at MacArthur Highway, Davao City, or call them at 299 1450 or 0917 723 Light Talk. Dreamt of becoming a pilot and have your office in the sky? Earn your pilot license in no time at Adventure Flight. Try out our Redbird Flight Simulator absolutely free and be swept away by your imagination. Adventure Flight is located at Makan Cebu International Airport and Davao City International Airport. Contact us at telephone number 082-297-3255 or in our Globe Mobile number 0926-091-3 Six eight nine. You may also visit ISAT Davao Facebook page. Make every day an adventure. Free simulator located in Cebu is subject to schedule and availability. Call now. Welcome back to Mango, Mango Mornings. Mornings, right here on Mango Radio, and we are communicating the love of God. Hello, friends. Welcome to the Thursday edition of Mango Mornings. Quick reminder: if you just tuned in, this is episode 25 entitled "Bride." Mm. How does a wife love her husband? Mm. And we will get to the heart of that matter for today's segment entitled Ask Mo Si Pastor. But first, I am joined by my fellow hosts, Pastor JB and Bernie. And yours truly, Aya. And today, uh, our guest pastor is Pastor Melo Techo of Beraka Community Church BCI. And he is also the chairman of Men of Integrity International. Pastor, welcome to the program. Hey. Thanks for having me here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So today, uh, Pastor, as for sure our listeners and viewers are tuning in uh, and love month pa, uh, ano ba yung... Yung, na, yung tanong natin is, what is the godly, the godly way that a wife ought to love her husband based on the verse that you will be sharing with us? Mm-hmm. So, I think we need to read out that verse. No? It's in Titus chapter 2, verse 4. Part of it says, and I quote, Then they can urge the younger women to love their husbands and children. So this is really coming from a verse that stated um, attitudes, mm. character of people who are much older. Mm. So ang tanong kasi minsan sa marriage, the older you go, the more it shows. <laughs> kasi when you start, di ba, bata ka, very ideal, ang daming maganda expectations. But I always tell people, especially pa nagka-counsel ako, na when you marry someone, whether you're a guy marrying a girl, a girl marrying a guy, you're not only marrying the positives, yes. but the negatives. You're oh, not mm. only marrying the yes. good side, but the bad side. You're mm. not only marrying the light, but the darkness. Mm. So, minsan ayaw nating tanggapin yung the other side, di ba? Mm. Parang, uy, gusto ko na lang yung lahat ng positive, good, tsaka bright. Mm. Huwag na lang yung bad. But, mm. ito, itong verse na to had to do with Mm-mm reminding older couples sabi niya mm. you know uh, older men diba? older women because as you go through marriage ang dami mong makikita ang revelations mm. at saka yung katotohanan ng false expectations nung tayo pumasok oh. mm-hmm. so sinasabi nga nila diba? I, I have that movie if I don't uh, Uh, I, I recall, naalala ko yung Jerry Maguire. Kasi mm. laging may nagkukot doon na matanda, no? yung kanyang mentor. One of the things he said was, a happy wife is a happy life. Mm. Now, you t- there's truth to that. Believe me, there's truth to that. Kaya nga lang, 
ano yung balance mm-hmm. kasi marriage is a two way street mm-hmm. right diba? i mean yeah. siguro ko may love na one way in yung agape si god lang yon whether you don't love god god would love you in the end yes. because he loves to to do it, to, to fulfill everything yes. destiny mo mm-hmm. but with regard to marriage it's always a two way street mm-hmm. diba mm-hmm. parang pag inisip mo bakit dalawahan sinasabi ko nga bakit tayo dalawa kamay natin left right mm-hmm. But yung nose natin, dalawa ang passage. but dalawa tenga mo, dalawa mata mo? Uh, diba? Oh, but oh, ang man. lips mo, isa lang pero may upper lower, pero may tangka na dapat mong pigilan lagi which is delegado <laughs> sa marriage because it can light not only a forest <laughs> but light up a marriage. Oh. So pag <clears throat> tingnan natin, pinaalala dito sa mas older couple, so sabi niya, big good examples. Kasi nga, even dito binanggit, no? yung mga older men, sabi niya, uh, dapat tayo maging appropriate, di ba? Yung sound doctrine because men are supposed to lead marriages. Mm. Di ba? And yes. we live in a time na minsan yung yung couple, younger, even yung mga millennials, mahilig mag-celebrate agad dyan, eh, di ba? Kaya may mga monthsary. Monthsary, yeah. Mm. May weeksary. Minsan may weeksary na, Pastor? Meron na, eh. May weeksary <laughs> na. Oh, grabe oh. naman ka-excited. Ano? Sabi ko lang, pag di kayo nag-ingat, baka habang day umiikli sari. yan, magkakaroon ng daysary, minisary, <laughs> at saka secondsary, no? Yung mga ganon, no? Parang yung mga Hollywood act Tres, ay ko nang banggitin yung pangal after 5 minutes din divorce sa Las Vegas yung napakasalan. Oh my ay, goodness. Alam niya ako sino ko nang banggitin, no? Kasi ay, hit very me famous. Baby one more time. <laughs> May tip na agad si Bert. Anyway. Pero parang nanaalim po nga. Balik ko lang, no? Ba't mahalaga to? Sabi dito, tayong medyo ahead na. Uh-oh. Dapat maging appropriate. Yung yung tinuro ulit yung sound doctrine. Ano yun? Yung yung biblical way an example. Sabi doon, teach the older man temperate, mm-hmm. 'di ba? Be temperate. Be respectable, be self-controlled, be sound in their faith, mm-hmm. in love and in endurance. Yun. Love is not in in terms of you need to endure love, but mm. enjoy it. Wow. But mm-hmm. love is tested mm-hmm. through the lens of time. Yes. yes. And nakakatuwa dito kasi pag tinignan mo, yung older women, ba't sinabi dito, be reverent? Kasi nga, because of marriage, as it grows longer, yung away na yan na hindi ma-reconcile, nawawala na ng respeto eh. Hmm. Hindi na reverent, di ba? Okay. Kaya balikan natin yung Ephesians na uh, ano, uh, wife submit to your husband. Ephesians 5, 25. Ephesians 5, 20. Oh, yan. Pag sinabi doon, sabi niya, submit to one another before that, yung verse 21, in reverence to the Lord. Mm-hmm. So, pinakita agad, sino ba referee natin? Oh. The Lord, di ba? Yes. yes. Sa mundo, siguro people you respect, your parents, your pastor, yeah. your minister. So, mm-hmm. dapat may referee. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, Example sa amin ng wife ko, lagi namin sinasabi, dapat may referee tayo. Una si Lord at isang o dalawa o tatlong pastor sa mundo mm. na pinagkatiwalaan natin bilang tatay at kuya. Kasi mm. pag medyo hindi na tayo nagkakasundo kung sino tama at mali, Mm-mm. dapat may referee, di ba? Mm-hmm. May nakita bang boxing match na walang referee? Basketball na walang referee? Oh, oh. Sports na walang referee, di ba? May umpire yan. Ba't sa marriage, wala. Mm. Oh, oh. Dapat meron. So, yes. tayo, when we have this love, maisip natin that love is a two-way street. Reciprocal mm. yan eh. Kaya nga, nandun yung laging ano eh, love is, sabi doon, husbands, love your wife. Mm. Diba? Wife, submit to your husband. Hindi sinabing surrender. Mm. Submit. Because submit has to do with respect and honor. Oo. You only submit to people you really honor and respect. Diba? Mm. Pag sinay mong surrender, talo ka kasi doon, napilitan ka lang. Hindi lahat ng sumurender, masaya, di ba? Right. Mm-hmm. Grudging pa yan pag pinasurrender ka, surrender ka. Wala kang magawa eh, surrender ka. But submission has to do with self-respect. Mm-hmm. Ginagalang ko sarili ko. Kasi kung ano yung love natin sa sarili natin, ganun ang love natin sa sa spouse natin. Kaya mm-hmm. ang galing nga nung turo ni God, love the Lord your God with, di ba? All your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Mm-hmm. Love others as you love yourself. Akala ng iba yung others ang second. No, the second is yourself. Mm. Selflessness. Mm. Mirap magmahal ng iba kung ang standard mo sa sarili mababa. Mm. So, dapat mahal mo yung sarili mo the way God looks at you, the way God has worth and value. So, you enter marriage fully. Kaya nga, di ba sa marriage, ang galing natin sa, sa arithmetic natin, 1 plus 1 is 2. Mm. Bigat baligtad ang math niya, 1 plus 1 is 1. Mm. Mm. Paano nangyari kahit bilangin ko sa daliri ko Two oh, man yan, Lord Pastor, paano yun? <laughs> di ba mag-isip? <laughs> Lord, di ba dalawa na kami Ba't isa lang ang bilang? Because sabi niya Sa tingin ko sa inyo Pinag-isa na kayo eh uh-huh. Spirit, soul, and body So, if I see you united Uniting you means A lot of sacrifice on your part 
Mm. Kasi pag career woman ka, tapos normally ang awayan ngayon yung kitaan ng pera because most people, there are homes that both parents work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And normally, ang kinaga, yung sa counseling ko mismo through, through the years, pag ganyan, o minsan, like after the pandemic, na wala ng trabaho yung isa, lalo yung husband, mm-hmm. minsan nakapangliit because yeah. alam natin ang lalaki yun, ang role natin. Yes. Eh. Mm-hmm. Provider. But, yeah, the, 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 the realities of our time are different. Mm-hmm. We have to really move with it, but with due respect. Mm-hmm. Diba? To one another, mm-hmm. under mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. So, maganda to kasi pag sinabi dito, di ba, oh, ituruan mo naman yung mga younger women to love their husband and children. Mm-hmm. No, I believe it's reciprocal, no? Uh, madaling sabihin sa mga babae, mahalin mo asawa mo. Pero yung asawa ba, worthy ba of respect din, di ba? Para reciprocal, eh. Yes. I cannot demand something from my wife which I do not give to her. Right. Because tama si... Si Peter, I cannot give what I do not have. Mm-hmm. So what do you have? You mm-hmm. work on it under Christ. Diba? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You work on it in a marriage because believe me, no one is perfect mm. coming Amen. into marriage. Pastor, you mentioned earlier kanina na uh, you marry the person including all the positive and the negative uh, characters yes. or habits mm-hmm. or everything that is in that person. Mm-hmm. Now, that uh, is uh, something serious no? and mm-hmm. would cause uh, eventually problem as uh, you mentioned the years go by sa partnership. What is what should be the response about it? Should it be tolerated especially the negative characters or something must be done along the way para sa at- ating mga no, listeners na couples and in a relationship? I'm excited, Lino. Bakit mm-hmm. nila negad yung mag-asawa sa umpisa sa garden? Pinakita Uh-oh. niya yung mundo eh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And ando na lahat, di ba? Sabi niya, everything is provided for you. When you enter marriage, we look back at Genesis. Paano ba sinimula ni Get? Nag-create muna siya ng content, di ba? Mm-hmm. Buong mundo, saka nag-create siya ng life. And pinakahuli yung ginawa, tao. Yeah. Inuna niya yung lalaki. And hindi nga alam ng lalaki na may kulang eh. Parang sobrang happy siya. Sabi niya, it is not good for a man to be alone. Mm-hmm. Hindi si Adam nagsabi, it's not good for me to be alone. It's God who said, Adam, mm. alam ko, kompleto ka sa akin, happy ka sa akin, na tayo lang. But look, mm. you need someone. ba? Diba? You need a helper. Hindi ka tulong, ha? Mm-hmm. Helper means co-equal. Yes. Let me just, oh. I always tell men, mm-hmm. women, physically, they're weaker, but they're not lesser. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And in, 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 in marriage, dapat galangan yan, eh. Okay. Believe me, the, the intuition of women, they're so powerful. Mm. So, as you love your wife, isipin mo, Lord, yun na feel niya ba? Do I respect that? Mm. If you don't respect that and you just go ahead, realize that sometimes, sabi ko nga sa mga lalaki, you know, aminin na natin, sa totoo lang, masakit man na word, that sometimes we're stupid because we <laughs> think we're always right. Mm. But believe me, if you love your wife and you listen to God and you allow God to move through her, you learn so much about your, mm-hmm. your life because reflection siya ng ikaw eh. Mm-hmm. Kaya sabi niya, behind every man's success is a woman, the wife. Mm-hmm. So, you cannot go through it alone. Mm-hmm. Whenever a man is honored, it's really the wife behind it. Mm-hmm. Whenever a wife is honored, it's because may kita mo, wow, ang, ang lupit naman itong girl na ito. Tinan mo yung husband. Mm-hmm. Kasi kaya narating niya yon, kasi grabe siya kamahal ng asawa niya. Inigatan siya, pinrovide siya, mm-hmm. at nirespeto siya. So, ang ganda ng word eh, you know, Husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. Yeah. Grabing hinambing ni God yan. Bakit Amen. love? Kasi men, siya naman talaga dapat unang nagmahal. Because kapag di ka nagtanim ng love, ba't ka mag-expect ng love? Kung ano mm-hmm. mo, anihin mo, di ba? Uh-huh. Yikes. But believe me, sub, yung wife submit to your husband, ang volume niyan, love eh. Mm-hmm. Nakita ng wife, grabe siyang ni love. Mm-hmm. Hindi problema yung submission. Mm-hmm. Honey, ano man, di ba? Mm-hmm. Ano mang paggawa mo? Because I believe in you, I believe in your leadership. You're not perfect. Mm-hmm. But believe me, we agree on almost everything. So, ngayon work, ngayon leadership, ngayon mm-hmm. earnings. Mm-hmm. And minsan yan naging awayan. Mm-hmm. Kasi minsan mas lamang si Missy sa kita. Mm-hmm. Na insecure yung babae. And that's true. And I always tell men, okay lang yun because ang labanan niyan is, sa totoo lang sa heart, not, not the word na labanan, but the point is, kahit mas malaki ang kinikita ng wife mo. Mm-hmm. Are you respectable enough? Kasi yung submission niya, it's not because she earns more eh. Mm-hmm. Because maraming wife natuto na rin talaga na, yeah, I earn. But I love you more, I love the children, and you are the boss here. You're the king. And pag nakita natin yun, the realities of our time, dapat ganun ka ano, kasi we really right. need to work together in marriage. Right. right. 
because like I said, yung, yung kikitain natin sa, sa hard times, kailan talaga natin ng finances. Pastor, mm-hmm. question, when it comes to finances, there are, I've heard this from some women who are married, uh, they say na you have to have your own earnings pa rin, mm-hmm. even when you're married. How do we reconcile that with what Pero, God Pastor, says? Pero Pastor, before that, kasi mukhang masarap na ang ating oh, kwentuhan. Oh, oh. Magpo-pause muna tayo for a break, ha? So we will learn the answer to that question when, when we return. When we come back. This is still Mango, Mango Mornings. Mornings here on Mango Radio. Radio. We continue to communicate, communicate the, the love, love of God. God. We'll be right back. Sandali lang. Honey, this is a wonderful meal. The candles are a really nice touch. Thank you, dear. Um, can I ask you something? Sure. Do you love me? Do I love you? Yeah. You mean right this minute? Uh... Well, hang on. What? Let's see, lunch tomorrow looks like a bologna sandwich on white bread. Lunch tomorrow? And it doesn't look like you've done the laundry yet. Oh, and you're using that fabric softener I don't like. And... My shirts aren't pressed. Bob, I just want to know if you love me. Well, I'd say right now, including this lovely dinner, my love for you is lukewarm. Lukewarm? Oh, it's a solid three out of ten, and, and I'm sure it'll be higher after you do the laundry. After I do... Bob, you don't love me. You just love the things I do for you. Do you love God for who He is? Or is your love for Him dependent on what He does for you? Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio at lifelinepro.com. Amazing Grace on Mango Mornings, here on Mango Radio. Beautiful Thursday morning here on Mango, Mango Mornings Race. on Mango Radio, and we are communicating, communicating the, the love, love of God. God. We have started the discussion earlier about uh, the Bible uh, telling us, no, in Titus chapter two, verse four, for wives to love their husband, mm. Mm. and the other translations would tell you submit to mm-hmm. your husbands, and uh, to help us uh, dive deeper into the meaning and essence of that uh, passage. Na highlight natin this morning. We have Pastor Melo Techo na chairman ng Men of Integrity no? from Beraka Church International. Yes. Pastor, welcome back. And let's continue yeah. our discussion. We um, held that thought kanina, question oh. ni DJ Aya. No? Inutang muna. Ito, <laughs> Inutang ba, bayad muna. na, bayad. Sagot. Pinabitin. <laughs> so, uh, we left with that discussion. And what do you think about that? Mm-hmm. How do we reconcile that? I think, lagi naman siguro yan, ang ambasihan niya pagmamahal. No? Love, tsaka yung, yung respect. Mm-hmm. When you enter marriage, you don't lose your own person. Uh-uh. Kaya nga, the, the two shall become one. Pag nagbilang si God, buo ka. Mm-hmm. Buo siya. Kaya nga malungkot, di ba yung paborito nating kanta ng Beatles? I'm now half the man I used to be. Even if you <laughs> enter a marriage half the man, and she enters half the woman, so half and half is one. Uh-huh. Hindi ganun ang bilang ni God eh. Yes. One, buo yung lalaki. One, buo yung babae. Pag pinag-isa, one pa rin. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kasi pag tumingin si God, focus talaga siya, di ba? Pag focus ka, hindi mo nakitang dalawa sila eh. Mm-hmm. But they never lose their individuality. Mm-hmm. So, believe me, yung pursuit niyan, hindi lang yung, can I have my savings? Mm-hmm. Yes. Career niya, interest niya, uh-huh. friends niya. Mm-hmm. Of course, andyan yan because that's part of growing a person. Pero, above all, is yung pagsasama niya. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Hindi mo pwedeng angkin nila lang, akin ka lang, buong buhay mo sa bata ka lang. Paano yung social life naman ng asawa mo? No? Uh-huh. Yan yung babae. Yung lalaki naman, pwede naman. Pero, huwag mo namang ilagay sa taas yun at nasa ilalim yung pagsasama. Uh-huh. Ano yun eh? I mean, oh. we can... Kasi that's part of growing us as a person. Mm-hmm. But believe me, that's the outside. Mm-hmm. The reality of growth is tayong dalawa. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Ngayon at kailanman. The two mm-hmm. of us. Two for the road. Mm-hmm. If you don't understand it, yung ganun, can, can I have my own savings? Yeah, but you have to tell your husband, di ba? Oh. If the husband wants, tell your wife. Wala naman problema. Mas maganda ka, maraming account, di ba? Mm-hmm. Mas oh. marami kang pagbubunutan pag may emergency. But oh. that should not be hidden. Mm-hmm. And let's not lose our own person. Because si God, He respect you as a person. Mm-hmm. Hindi mo naman nawala sa marriage yan eh. Sadly, not everybody see that. Mm. Right. Kaso yung tingin lang, slave sila ng marriage. Oh so, pag slave ka, surrender ka. Kasi slave and master yan eh. Oh, right. Eh, you don't, di ba? I mean, 
equal portion siya. Eh. Mm-hmm. When God made Adam, He made sure na si, si Eve physically weaker but not lesser. Uh-oh. Yes. Kaya nakita niya perfect silang dalawa. I mean, mm-hmm. we cannot enter something great kung ang tingin natin bawas na yung isa. Eh. Mm-hmm. That's why ang bilang ni God, one, that's the man, one, that's the wife, becomes one mm-hmm. in everything. So, it's not just basically unity. Mm-hmm. But God seeing you as partners for a lifetime. Mm-hmm. So, Diba? Uh, to create a next generation of children, ang strength lang natin, kaya karamihan ng, ng, ng generation ngayon, takot sa marriage. Kasi nakita nila gumuguhu yung marriages. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ilang parents. Pati lolo nila, guhu na eh. Tsaka mm-hmm. lola. Because yeah, nag-iba talaga yung pananaw ng tao. Yeah. Yung dynamics. No? Yung dynamics. Talking about respect, Pastor, I heard couples justifying their flaws and mistakes pag may mga conflicts na kasalanan mm. mo yan or pasensya ka kasi ganito talaga ako. So as mm. if their partner should adjust to their innate being maldita or irresponsible <laughs> or whatever. Mm. That is discouraged no, sa ating uh, marriages. Tama ba, Pastor? Na, na, <laughs> na parang culture sa ating mga uh, partners ngayon. Totoo yan. Kasi lahat ng lahi may culture, pero mm. may biblical culture eh. Mm-hmm. Yun. Pag tinignan mo, ano ba culture sa heaven? Mm-hmm. Iba-ibang culture yan. Kung Pilipino ka, Westerner ka, Asian ka, mm-hmm. African ka, iba-iba. But above human culture is heaven's culture, the yes. biblical one. Okay. So, lagi nating i-reflect doon. Kasi pag sa tabi, ang dami nating comparisons eh. That's but si true. ganyan, but hindi ka So, mm-hmm. yes. sometimes it's good to look, but comparing it with that mahirap you compare yourself to the bible Amen. because mm-hmm. nilagyan tayo ng guidance eh. yeah. mm-hmm. so pag sinabi ganito ako i mean sabi ko nga di ba pumasok ka sa marriage may darkness marami rin tayong baggage eh. yes uh-uh. yun nga ayo i-recognize ng lahat na may baggage kaya pero yung baggage na yun, are you willing to change because deep inside lahat naman ng tao when they really have di ba mm-hmm. reflection mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hindi mo naman mahal yung mga palpak mo eh, di ba? Pastor, mm. but some of the couples might say, it's either woman or the man. Na, I will change for you. I mm. will change for that human being. Mm. Is that enough? Well, that's a good start. Love can change a person. Mm-hmm. Because Definitely. nakita mo, ayokong you know, tumagal tong ganitong style ko, ugali mm. ko, o pananaw ko. Because love can really move things around. Eh. Kaya nga, mm. di ba sabi niya, the greatest in the end, only three things will remain. Mm. Faith, hope, hope love, love. di ba? Mm. And the greatest is love. Mm. Bakit? Because pag tinignan mo si God, God cannot be faith. He gives faith. Mm. God cannot be hope. He gives hope. Yes. Mm. But God is love. Uh, mm. But it must niya, be God. <laughs> kaya love never fails because <laughs> Christ will never fail us. So, Amen. Ang basihan lagi pagmamahal eh. We are created here out of love. For mm-hmm. God so loved the world when He created the universe from darkness to light, it was all love. Mm-hmm. Yung creator natin, sobrang punong-puno ng pagmamahal na dapat ma-reflect natin sa Kanya. Mm-hmm. Then magtinginan tayo. Oh, In yeah. marriage, ulitin ko, uso ngayon may third party. Totoo naman talaga may third party. Alam mo sino yun? Sino yun? Si God. Si yes. God yung third party ng marriage. Siya yung Amen. referee. Siya yung umpire. Mm-mm. Siya yung magsasabi kung mali na yung dalawa o Mm-mm. dapat bang tama. Pero Mm-mm. siguro one thing's missing sometimes like, yung mga pagtitingin ng mga mali. No? Ma- madali kasing mag-finger pointing eh. Yes, uh-huh. blaming. You know, yeah, and what's, what's really lacking in marriage is affirmation. Mm. Yes. Wow. Honoring. Oh. Wow. Kasi if you look at all the positives more than the negative, you realize na, di ba? Sabi nga nung... nung, nung ng pastor namin, si Pastor Dave, may nagpa-counsel daw sa kanya one time. Lahat inangal. So sabi niya, o oh, sige, maganda yung sinabi mo, no? pero pwede ba gawin mo before mo ituloy ito? Can you write all the positive things? Hatiin mo yung, yung, yung papel na yan sa gitna, mm. isulat mo lahat ng positive ng asawa mo. Sinulat niya. Mm. Ang haba. O nga, sulat mo na yung negative, wala na sa maisulat. Aww. Bakit? Wow. Because when you look at it, God's way, mm. Love will cover multitudes of sin. Amen. We, we Amen. often forget that. Kaya Amen. love month ngayon, sabi ko, love should be everyday. Yes. Because love is tested through the mm. lens of time. Love is tested through the right heart na mm. you cannot submit unless you love and respect the person. Mm. Mm. Mahirap mag-submit sa ganong mga tao pag hindi mo minahal eh. Right. Mm. So I think both ways, two-way street, men should love their wife. Mm. 
to wrap up today's discussion, Pastor, I know we have so much to talk about about this and we can expound this uh, for as long as we can. <laughs> but final message po sa ating mga uh, wives today no, listening yes. on loving their husband according to the biblical standards uh, na set na Panginoon. Mm-hmm. Encouragement sa lahat no to the wives and would be wives. Mm-hmm. Isipin natin like diniskas natin kanina. Alam ko love, hindi naman dumarating yan eh, di ba? Before you love someone, you must like someone. Yes. Mm-hmm. Before you like someone, you must be attracted to that someone. Oo. Uh-huh. Di ba? Hindi naman nalaglagyan na parang bayabas at bigla nagustuhan mo, no? Kasi sabi nila, you know, love at first sight, uh-huh. well, para sa akin, one in a million yan. Oo. Oh. Mm-hmm. Baka nagulantang ka lang, di ba? So, no, to be right, oh, <laughs> nagka-interest ka eh, nagandahan ka, na-like mo, uh-huh. na-love mo. So, I believe women, men would start with but with the wives isipin natin when we love someone and we decided na tayo na mm-hmm. we have to look from the heart ba mm-hmm. kasi if you cannot see one another till the end uh, wag ka na lang pumasok yes. I always tell people kasi diba, background ko archie ako eh sa architecture mm-hmm. titina mo ko asa yung entrance sa exit lagi uh-huh. wag kang pumasok sa isang lugar na hindi mo alam paano lumabas matatrap ka eh no. <laughs> so <laughs> Both men and ngayon women, yung tanong natin, Mm-mm. nakita mo ba yung sarili nyo? Kasi ang tanong ng generation to, meron bang forever? Mm. Sagutin ko lang yun na meron. Pero dapat, pagdating sa forever, which is malayo, nakita nyo kayong dalawa pa rin magkahawa kamay. Mm. Mm. Kasi pag di mo nakita yun, mahirap tong pinag-usapan natin na submission at love. Oh, Do amen. you see that man uh, forever? Mm. And I always tell young men, uh, Do you love that woman enough? Mm. Even mm-hmm. the darkness. Mm. Kasi pag nasabi mo yun, huwag mo lang by verbal. And sabi nga, isa ready na ako magmahal. Sabi ko, pangalawa, mm. kaya mo ibigay, hindi lang yung puso mo, pitaka mo, ibibigay mo. Oh, yes. Kasi pag di mo nabigay, delikado. Mga lalaki may pitaka, lagi may pangalawa, pangatlo, pangapat na girl. <laughs> Kasi sustainable eh. Mm. I always tell men. May budget. Oh, para gusto mong ma- ma- ma-save ka, biblically, <laughs> trust your wife. Hindi marunong mag-budget, matututo yan through the oh. years. Uh-oh. Because that's trust. Yes. Uh-huh. That's love. Yes. Even if you're wrong, I love you because you would learn through time. So for our young yes. women or married women yeah. who mm-hmm. would be married women, you know, siguro, do you see that person beyond mm-hmm. all the emotions? Because love is still emotion pa rin naman eh. Mm-hmm. Can you see him and yourself through the passage of time? Kaya sabi mm-hmm. ko kanina, love can be seen thoroughly through the lens of time. Mm-hmm. Amen. Merong forever. Amen. If you're willing to look at it very far from where you are today. So, mm-hmm. salamat for the time. Wow. Thank you for that. Thank you so much, Pastor Mel. And, uh, well, that I hope that encouraged our listeners this morning mm-hmm. and uh, have uh, given them a fresh new perspective if they're, especially their marriages are dwindling or in... Uh, conflict in right now uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> or in crisis that's the better term no <laughs> so thank you so much pastor anything or anyone you would like to greet this shout morning out. shout out para sa yeah mga i want to greet first my loving wife mm. so online i know she's Hello listening po. there good morning oh, good morning saka yung son ko si John Mark yung alalay ko nang and mm. uh, <laughs> people from BCI sa so mm-hmm. Beraka community pastor oh. anniversary niyo yata sa linggo oo oh, oh. <laughs> Kung gusto niyo pa lang ko lang. <laughs> oh, uh, 11th year anniversary wow. ng church, Beraka oh, oh. Community International BCI. Oh. Yes. Ang title po niyan Rooted. Wow. Uh, wow. Sabi nga diyan, 'di ba, that you may know how high, how wide, how long is the the love of God. So, mm. please feel free uh Pastor Dave Magalong, our founding pastor will be the one sharing. Oy, this Sunday. God. So, naka ano lang yan sa sa Facebook okay. you know, live yan siya so if you can tune in I think that's gonna be a inspiring message mm-hmm. hindi lang sa BCI para sa atin lahat yes. yun ay nagpagreet si Pastor Ruben Hernani <laughs> oh. yeah. sabi niya blessing to hear the reminders and our marriage commitment from you and syempre uh, from Senior Pastor Pastor Mel Techo yun yes. and, Pastor uh, June and Doc Yen good morning yun. Yun. Good nagkapi morning. na <laughs> oh. Pero bago tayo mag uh, yes. say goodbye greetings muna tayo mm-hmm. Ayun, and uh, happy though to hear our inspiring voices, sabi nga ni Pastor June. And syempre si, uy, uh, Tita Teresita Ola yes. coming all the way from Australia. Wow. Ayun. Wow. And uh, 
Sino pa ito? Nawala. Ayun, doon si Nea. Watching from Kulyanan in Sambuanga City. Wow. So blessed to start the day with Mango Radio. Wow. Mm-hmm. And also mm-hmm. to Granny Christy, wait patiently. Ayun. Mm-hmm. And amen daw, sabi ni Ana Tabuka, no? amen to the devotional today as well. And I'm sure amen ka din doon sa sharing ni Pastor Mel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Jason Pasibog, amen, God bless. Good morning din, uh, Mango Radio. Dara, uh, good morning to all the staff of Mango. And uy, Si Papa and Mama mo. Ayun. Oh. Pastor Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy. JV. Naging yeah. Jeremy bigla. <laughs> Good morning. Ayun. And si Belly Texan. Uy, si Pastor Belly. Buenos dias from Sambuanga City. Nana de Modera Bells. Wow. Okay, this is Belly and Marie. Okay, your friends from Davao. Oy, no. Kamusta mm-hmm. naman? Dako ng baby. Pinaduga nga na. <laughs> Pinatulog. <laughs> anyway, uh, Maricho Habuchi. Blessed Thursday morning, Mango. And also to Isabel Estevez. Hello to all the DJs. Morning. Great. Is the love of amen. God to us. Amen. Amen. By the way, to our YouTube chatters, make sure to include your location if you're in Davao. So mm-hmm. we will be continuously choosing sino yung mananalo ng mango bag. So yes. stay tuned for that. Speaking of mango bag, si Adelaide nagtatanong kasi taga Zamboanga siya, paano niya daw ma-avail yung bag? Um, you can message us. We can actually arrange no a shipping. Uh-huh. Um, basta ikaw lang magbayad. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede Pay for. Oh, oh, wala pa po as of now sa Zamboanga. <laughs> But we are praying and thinking of ways how we can make it possible yes. to distribute Ooh. the bag for your convenience. Wow. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, siyempre friends, no, to our guests who've uh, been here and shared with us their insights on scripture and also mm-hmm. from their own experiences. Napakapuno ng mornings natin. Mm-hmm. Yes. And siyempre, no, even though the question that was asked is how do wives love their husbands or submit to their husbands, but basically it goes both ways. Mm-hmm. Because then, siyempre, katulad nga sinabi ni Pastor Mel, na one plus one equals one. Mm-hmm. Yun. And, uh, If you're into computer science, actually, that's binary. Wow. Na numbering system. Okay? Mm. One plus one equals one. You Hindi <laughs> zero. <laughs> so, that's a good way to start your mornings and your day and to think about it. no? Mm-hmm. Because, syempre, romantic relationships, yes, it's there. But also, um, important din yung mga relationships natin with others. And that's what, uh, of course, si Jaika shared with us today. no? Mm-hmm. And if God is telling you to wait, why don't you? And who knows, the person that God will give you is actually the best one. Sometimes you just, you know, need to sharpen the edges and probably take out uh, yung mga iba-ibang mga impurities. Because mm-hmm. what comes out is gold. And look at the positives. And look, look at the positives. Ang ganda, no? Magawa ka ng listahan, positive, negative, and yung pala, nagiging positive lahat. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, our prayer for you today is that you're going to look at the positive things because it will definitely outweigh all the negatives. To our guests, thank you once again. And to our listeners and viewers no, on both our uh, okay, syempre radio and then YouTube. Mm-hmm. And uh, sa mga nag-text, parang wala na yata nadagdag, no? Yeah. <laughs> Ayun. But anyway, uh, thank you for being with us today. And tomorrow, you'll hear a testimony of someone who definitely is uh, in the ministry. And stay tuned for that because that's going to be something But syempre, for us, it's our bye-bye. Aww. Mm-hmm. As much as we want to extend, katulad ng mga request ng ibang listeners, no? pwede bang gawing two hours? <laughs> Hindi. <laughs> One hour and a half lang talaga kami. May extension konti. But anyway, who knows? If you wait, there is going to be something. Diba nga, tulad yung sinabi ko kanina, faith like potatoes. Okay? Mm-hmm. Wait lang because God is, has something more in store mm-hmm. for you. By the way, my name is Bernie. This is Aya. And Pastor JB. And we will see you tomorrow for another dose of Mango, Mango Morning here on Mango, Mango Radio. Radio. We continue to communicate, communicate the, the love, love of God. God. Amen. See you tomorrow. The views and opinions expressed in today's program are those of the host and do not necessarily